Hello guys and girls In this video we're gonna speak about emptiness How, how I overcome emptiness Okay, how, how I manage Or every time that emptiness hits You know, emptiness hits me You know, like some You know, this feeling that haunts you during this journey on planet Earth How I overcome it Okay, what I've learned along my journey and what worked for me So Let's begin. Let's begin. When it comes to emptiness, you can easily get misguided and uh, um, get tricked by the programs of your mind. Uh, you, you might think that th these um, things are causing you emptiness, but in reality, they are nothing more than symptoms. For example, I don't have a partner, I don't have money. Uh, th this person, my friend, doesn't love me anymore. My partner doesn't love me anymore. I'm not successful enough. Uh, I, I don't have friends. I don't have friends. I, I, I don't have enough sex. Uh, you know, when, when you when you go deep within you, you will realize that uh, these are symptoms. Depression is a symptom of happiness. Depression. It's not causing emptiness. That's what helped me along my journey. So I don't get tricked by those uh, programs inside my mind, okay, by those thoughts. Uh, that's what happened when I became a better observer of the mind. When I connected more with this transcendent dimension of consciousness inside me, which is the observer of the ego, which is uh, the observer of the mind. That's what happened. I realized this and um, here, here is what I found as the root cause of emptiness. The, the root cause of emptiness is um, the disconnection from your soul. Soul loss. We are so far away, so so far lost out there that you have disconnected from your soul. And uh, when you are disconnected from your soul, this manifests itself in this reality as. Uh, you know, the darkness, the empty void, uh, you experience the darkness of this reality, you, um, you, you experience the emptiness, depression, sicknesses, suffering, uh, stress, anxiety, fear, limitations, um, but the root cause of all, of all this emptiness and all this darkness is soul loss. Okay, it's super important to, to realize that. The root cause is not everything out there, it's, it's not depression, it's not what ha what is happening uh, externally as a symptom in your brain, but it goes much, 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 much more deeper than that. Okay, another thing is uh, you, you don't uh, uh, have meaning or purpose, you lack that. And that goes hand to hand with the connection with your soul. The more you are away from your soul, the more disconnected you are, the less you are lost in life, you don't have you don't have meaning, you don't have purpose, um, you don't know your why into your life, and uh, this is causing a lot of emptiness because you are not in your path, you are not in the flow, in the flow state. That's where happiness, that's where wholeness, that's that's where the present moment exists. The flow state exists in the present moment, and uh, the present moment is the flow state so lack of meaning and purpose it's uh, one more thing that you have this void and this void can never be filled this emptiness can never be filled from the outside world you have to go inside guys you have to go inside you have to pay more attention to your suppressed and uh, repressed emotions everything that runs you everything uncomfortable that is within you in other words Whenever you have a dysfunctional relationship with the present moment, which means what? It, it just means that uh, for some reason you are angry, for some reason you feel depressed uh, in the present moment, for some reason you are stressed, for, for some reason you are rooted in fear, for, for some reason you want to do something but you are afraid, you know, you are in limitations, um, for some reason you are complaining. Whenever you are in this functional state in the present moment you have to 
you have to pay more attention there to observe those emotions are messengers messengers and directions messengers that telling you where you need to put your awareness on what needs to be cultivated in your life so the next time you feel uh, like you're complaining you feel like you're complaining in the present moment for some reason oh life is always happening to me oh, i can't stand this i can't stand it oh again again this again that oh this guy again this guy that tells me again blah blah blah, blah. next next time that this happens in your life don't react negative become a better observer try to understand your emotions try to acknowledge your emotions and the thoughts that are created when you feel those emotions that's where the answer lies when you put your awareness between your thoughts that perpetuate the emotion and the emotion that's when you realize how you create your pain and that's how you stop that's how you break this link of the thought and emotion by understanding which thought perpetuates it and uh, by no longer getting pulled by those thoughts and this is super important uh, when it comes on being empty <laughs> i felt i didn't have for for uh, a, a lot of time in my life okay and uh, still there, there are some periods uh, you know when uh, some uh, unconscious programs are getting triggered inside me that uh, I have this feeling of emptiness, okay, but uh, the moment it happens, fully aware in the present moment, I'm trying to understand w- what is happening inside me, I'm acknowledging this uncomfortable emotion, I, I, no, I, I no longer believe any thoughts that are trying to perpetuate it, okay, uh, for, for example, uh, uh, you haven't yet manifested. You don't have money. You don't have. Di- you don't have. Uh, you don't have enough sex. You don't. Uh, uh, you don't have a partner that loves you. You don't have this. You don't have that. The thoughts are gonna come up. It's a part of the matrix programming inside you. But at the moment, you sign in the light of awareness in there, and you no longer run behind those thoughts. This emptiness is gonna subside. But but in order to become more aware to shine in the light of awareness you must connect with your soul okay you must go inside mindfulness meditation is key try try go out in nature it's easier there nature helps you connect with yourself with your two essence with your soul with this transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you that uh, is above the ego above the mind that is higher intelligence the mind is consciousness your true self is higher consciousness and um, through mindfulness meditation the art of observing your thoughts and your emotions without judging them and getting into your senses into the present moment through this uh, skill through this art you can connect uh, you can better discover this dimension of who you are inside you your soul this consciousness this energy and th- this is key when it comes to uh, removing the feeling of emptiness. Don't get uh, pulled uh, by the symptoms. It's all, uh, it's all um, ego. It's all ego. Trying to move you away of who you are and uh, perpetuate those emptiness feelings. And uh, yeah, you need, you need high level of awareness, okay? You need to, to be highly observant in the present over, moment. So um, you can deal with those feelings of emptiness and with every other uncomfortable feeling, to be honest. So some, something you can do to feel better is mindfulness meditation. It's key, getting in touch in nature. I, I love, I, I love to uh, take my bicycle and go out in nature. I, I work out, I meditate at the same time, I observe, I don't label anything, I'm in the present moment. A- every pedal, then I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. The present moment inside me and out there, I'm meditating, I'm clearing my mind. It's super important when it comes to remove emptiness. Um, Emptiness is linked with uh, feeling lost, so every time you feel lost in life, just uh, go out in nature, walk, run, cycle, 
go out there and connect, meditate, move your body, move your body, this is gonna help you to feel better. And by meditating and at the same time moving your body, you win so much, you win so much. So, so this can be your uh, spiritual practice, your daily spiritual practice. At the same time, you're working your body, you're getting the vitamin D from the sun, you can do it at night as well. Uh, but it's better on the day because you get the vitamin D, you get the sun codes uh, that help you, that help increase your mood, raise your energy levels uh, and all the stuff inside you. So, yeah. This is a good uh, spiritual practice, but you can establish any spiritual practice you want. You can meditate at home, create a ritual, light candles, uh, uh, close your eyes so you can remove the external uh, stimulation. It's better in the beginning. Uh, when you are meditating in the beginning, it's better to close your eyes because you, you are removing a lot of um, distractions from the outer world so you can focus more on your inner world. And that, that's where you have to focus in order to stop feeling empty. It's, it's, it's what helps me along my journey. It's everything actually because uh, I had this feeling a lot, a lot, actually my whole life. Okay. <laughs> Until my spiritual awakening where I began to connect with the truth of who I am and uh, uh, it began to subside. It, it, it still comes from uh, days to days due to some uh, unconscious programs, uh, some fragments of some unconscious programs I still have in my mind. But uh, I overcome it really easily. Okay. Um, you, you have another thing you have to do is to to seek for f- to fulfill yourself. Okay. You have to look inwards and follow your heart. Learn how to follow your heart. How to do the things you are passionate about because all, all the things you have to do are streams of the present moment streams that get you on the present moment and on the present moment you can you can connect with your soul and by connecting with, with your soul um you can get rid of those emptiness of those feeling of emptiness and um yeah allow the emotions to run through you and praise them become the space that's how you're gonna feel better okay uh you're gonna remove emptiness of course part of this is to feel uh, uncomfortable okay Part of this might be to cry for two hours. Part of this might be to feel uh, sit down in your home for one day and not being good, but feeling everything because through feeling comes the healing. It's super important. And uh, feel that anger, feel everything. Feel that anger, feel, feel um, that jealousy that uh, you, you see other people on purpose or, and you, you feel jealous and stuff like that. Feel, feel everything, try, try to acknowledge. And one of the most important things is to create your support network. Follow people on YouTube that uh, um, are going to help you to go to the next level in your life. On social media, uh, people that share ideas, people that inspire you to reach your greatest version, to raise your vibration, um, to, 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 to increase your consciousness, to heal your past. Uh, create your support network. You always have you always have the ability to create boundaries in your life from toxic people and uh, change the people in your life. You always have that ability. The only thing that stops you is the fear of abandonment. You're afraid to abandon people or to get abandoned by people. You're afraid. And that's what uh, keeps you with um, toxic people in your life. And this is disastrous and this is causing you emptiness and this inner void inside you is becoming stronger and stronger. So, yeah, this is how you stop the emptiness. Another thing is uh, you have to create a solid sense of self. Okay, you have to learn your values, learn your, learn your needs, go in, connect with your inner child because your inner child is the key holder when it comes to removing the emptiness of your life. It's the key holder. You know, pay more attention to your talents, to your gifts. Ask yourself, why I have those? Why, why do I possess those? And uh, c- create, create a strong sense of, of self. You know, strengthen your ego. 
You have to learn to, le- to get validation from the, the inside out, from your insides, not, not always seeking validation from the people out there. You have to actually stop having fear of the opinion of other people. Create a strong sense of self. Reflect on what you enjoy and begin to explore it. I like cycling, for example. I, I, when I'm cycling, I'm exploring. I liked cycling on my childhood as well, when I was young. And uh, learn to set boundaries because that's how a strong sense of self is created. So th- th- this is uh, this is actually how you remove this feeling of emptiness. This is what helped me along my journey. But this is how I do it. And uh, of course, um, I'm uh, super alert in the present moment when it comes, and I'm thinking, uh, uh, what's the next best step I can take to to fix the situation? Okay, and th- this is the blueprint. Okay, so if you liked this video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, make sure you follow on Instagram and on Facebook, and uh, until next time, peace and glory. <laughs>